All right, so let's dive right on in and get started with um, how to create a five-star listing presentation uh, inside of Canva. And it's really kind of amazing what you can do and why it is so and such a great um, system. Uh, no choice, you don't need to log into Canva. I'm gonna be showing you my screen and some stuff that uh, you're capable of doing and you're able to do. Um, you're more than welcome to play with it and test it afterward. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to be showing you my screen and uh, and some of the, the features and abilities and tricks and uh, things that you can do to set up the presentation for yourself. So uh, no need to log into Canva right now. Uh, probably best to just focus on what we're doing today. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cover a whole ton. Now, I do want to mention quick before uh, we dive in that this is brought to you by two groups. Um, first is the Real Estate Technology Institute. Um, that is Craig Grant's organization. I'm also an instructor there. If you're interested in learning anything about technology um, or generally marketing in your business, uh, that is a great, great place to do so. As well as my organization, Service for Life, um, we have been helping agents build businesses that are truly based on referrals and past clients as opposed to feeling like you have to chase leads all the time. So you, if you haven't checked that out, uh, check out serviceforlife.com. So thanks to both of those groups for putting this on. So let's dive in here and give you a quick class overview of what we're going to be covering today um, because it's more than just the listing presentation itself. And that's one of the great benefits to um, using something like Canva to do your listing presentation is we're actually going to even talk about the pre-appointment package um, a little bit before the presentation itself, because great presentations, great listing presentations, and, and any presentation really comes down to some of the prep that you do beforehand and making sure that you set people up and you set yourself up for success. So we're not just gonna talk about a listing presentation today. We're gonna give you some options for how to make a pre-appointment package and your listing presentation look the same, have the same brand, really cover similar topics that support one another, um, but really look like they're meant to go together. So we're gonna cover what to uh, actually include in this pre-appointment package. We're gonna talk about what to include uh, in your listing presentation. And then we're gonna show you some tools uh, inside of Canva that make it very, very easy to do all of those things. So um, first, Let's talk about why a pre-appointment package for a second. Um, beyond just setting yourself up for success, uh, it makes the listing appointment a lot easier. Now, it does that in a number of different ways, one of which is people are already prepped with some information. You're not starting at zero uh, when you go there. You've given them some information, some educational topics and things like that that make it easy to dive in, to reference things, to say, oh, hey, did you happen to see this that I was able to send to you? So it's hugely important that way. The other big part is sending something early like this gives the ability for people to come up with questions beforehand where they're not thinking to themselves an hour later, oh, shoot, I should have asked this person this, or boy, we should have talked about that. And then you spend your whole evening texting and chatting and so on back and forth because they're asking all those follow-up questions. Well, the best thing is to answer those questions right in front of them. So if you can prompt them to start thinking about some of this stuff to, beforehand um, and have some of those questions ready, you're a lot more able to get past any sort of fears, um, get past any sort of pain points and get those people to sign right on the spot. And that's that move that you want to make is it makes getting the signature easier in general. The other big thing it does, it makes you stand out. Um, there are, you know, everybody, and we, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but everybody out there has some sort of listing presentation that is all sorts of jazzed up with this, that, and the other. And But sending something beforehand, um, that is definitely something that can make you stand out from the pack and from a good set of your competition. Um, it builds credibility a lot quicker, uh, delivering something, especially if it feels like something of value beforehand uh, is hugely, hugely important. It builds the rapport earlier, um, helps qualify the client earlier, uh, and it creates an engaging experience before you ever meet. Now, 
This pre-appointment package is hugely important and I wanna show you exactly how you can do something like this in Canva. Um, and I'm just gonna do a quick overview because in reality, what I think we're gonna to do today is start with the listing presentation in terms of what we're building and then show how you can make your uh, appointment package look similar or look like the pre-appointment package that you're sending out. So let's take a look over here. Um, we're gonna go into Canva itself. And this is your home, this is your general dashboard that you'll have on the home screen. And if you're gonna be creating a pre-appointment package, there are two um, layouts or two types of templates that I think go really, really well. Um, so, you know, these reports, do very, very well. And I'll show you some templates and some layouts that do very well for this pre-appointment package. And then we'll dive further into doing the listing presentation itself. So very quickly here, we can do two things. We can either look for a proposal template, and this can be either general proposal or marketing proposal, but we're just gonna say proposal in general. And you'll notice all of a sudden you have all of these different templates and layouts and looks and feels and so on right in front of you to start constructing um, that layout, the, uh, the pre-listing package for you. Now, if you go a step further here, you can start breaking down how you want it to look. So most generally, you're probably gonna go with a marketing proposal, um, but some of the other ones, corporate or company, uh, or some of these other ones really look great as well. So take some time to peruse through, look for those types of reports and templates that you can use for this. Um, the other option beyond proposal is a report. And these are again, really, really great um, in terms of the templates and layouts that you can use to create items uh, before that, you know, before your, your listing presentation. So you can set that up to, um, and again, there's all sorts of categories down the side here. Now, you can always do the same thing here and type in real estate reports. And again, it's going to give you a bunch of options here on what you can use as templates. <clears throat> now, I know we're talking about listing presentations today, so I don't want to take too much of our time uh, going through the reports and proposals item um, and the supporting documentation. I really want to dive right on into uh, exactly how you can um, set up yourself for success with a listing presentation. So let's talk just for a second here about what to include in the listing presentation because you know there, there's all sorts of theories and all sorts of stuff all over the map about what works um, but from working with agents for years this is what i have seen that has worked really really well uh, for agents across the board in terms of what they include in their um, pre-appointment package and then what they include in their listing presentation itself so the pre-appointment package should include things like your resume with full information uh, some of your references, the type of market that you might be in, and some little bit of background on that market, some common mistakes um, that sellers or buyers might make, um, options for preparing your home and some information about that, uh, aspects of buying and selling. These are types of things that you want the folks you're sending this to to find valuable, um, whether or not they ever work with you. They're, they, you still want that, that to be a valuable piece of information that they can use uh, consistently. Now, there's one thing I wanna make sure that we talk about here, which is that these pre-appointment packages, as well as the listing presentation itself, needs to uh, look professional and it's not really there to sell. It's not there to talk about sales data. It's not there to get down into the nitty gritty. You don't wanna give them a huge assignment that they need to work on, you wanna make a nice package with some valuable information that's a great introduction to you that gets them started thinking down the path that you wanna go. Now let's dive into the actual presentation itself because um, there are some options in terms of what you can include. 
And we're going to talk about how all of these things are very, very easy inside of uh, some of the templates that you can use inside of Canva. And then how you can use that to go back and make sure that that pre-appointment package uh, looks the way that you want it to and looks like a supporting document. So first of all, um, what to include in the presentation? You need bio headlines. And what I mean by that is you do not want to include your whole bio or a long paragraph uh, inside of a listening presentation or inside of your slides. You want quick bullets about some of your highlights of things that you've done, um, things that you want them to know about, and it doesn't have to be anything crazy or in depth. You want to compare your success with industry averages. So if you are an awesome agent, which I know you are, um, you can probably go out there and say, well, I sell these many homes a year while the other age, average agent out there in my market sells this many homes. Or I sell, you know, on average this much above market value while the average agent only does this in my market. Um, for practicing agents out there, that's usually a pretty, uh, I don't want to say easy, but definitely something you can do because as we know, there are a lot of agents who only do a deal or two a year. There are a lot of agents who don't necessarily practice a whole ton. Um, so if, if you're out there in a full-time agent, you can definitely, definitely come up with some stats about how you are outpacing the majority of the market out there. Um, you want to give some company stats, some updates on the market area. Uh, you want to dive into some of the things that you're going to do for marketing strategies that will sell their home. Um, and, you know, not just what the strategies are, but how what you're doing stands out. Um, if you're calling your referrals, or you're following up with, you know, the people that refer you business about the sales, and you know a lot of agents aren't doing that, that's something that really stands out. Um, the next thing you want to talk about is the type of buyer that you see buying the home. And the reason is, is that information when you talk about them and ask some questions about it and so on, that's going to set you up for your pricing discussions later. Because what you start figuring out is the more people who are able to buy this home, the more likely you're going to get top dollar for it, as opposed to if there's a very small niche uh, of people that will buy that home, well, then pricing might need to be a little bit different, even in the market that we're in currently. So just something to, to talk about is saying, hey, what type of buyer are we thinking about? What you know, what type of buyer do you see in your mind as an agent um, for somebody who might be uh, moving into that home? Um, and then where you'll promote their home to find buyers. So if that's, you know, the MLS, that's great. And you want to list those things as well, because all the agents are doing it. But if you're doing some special things that stand out, that is absolutely where you want to go uh, the extra mile and say, hey, you know, all the agents do this. I do this as well. There's this extra bit um, that I do that, you know, other agents might not do. So those are the types of things you want to include. And then last but not least, in terms of things to include, you want to get into uh, pricing strategies, negotiation uh, strategies, service reports, calendar of events, and then a seller's net sheet. Now, these are all um, great, great topics and things. I'm sure you have a lot of content, a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge on to include into your listing presentation. So now that we've talked a little bit about what to include um, in some of these presentations, I wanna dive over back into Canva and let's talk a little bit about how to do this. Um, let's talk, you know, the nitty gritty of doing this inside of Canva uh, so that it is easy for you. So let's go here and you'll notice here we have presentations. Now, the cool part about presentations is there's actually a specific category for real estate presentations. Um, and they make it very, very easy to set this up for yourself, uh, to customize it, to do all those sorts of things. Now, I'll show you a couple different examples of some of these templates that are available to you and some of the ways that you can easily customize those. So let's take this one here. Um, I was also messing with one for a second earlier. So let's, uh, um, let's go back into that one as well. So here's one that we see right off the bat. Blue professional real estate listing presentation. 
And the great part is that they've done a lot of this work for you. Um, they've got some great titles, some great headlines, some great, all that sort of stuff built in uh, and set up for you. And then you can easily go in and start switching out um, your information, switching up your photos, your color scheme, all that sort of stuff. I'll just show you how to do that quickly here. So let's dive in. We'll go to an upload and let's say I want to swap out. Uh, you know what? I was just doing some cards for a buddy of mine. Let's swap in Derek. We're going to crop that, right? Make it a little bigger. We can center him. And boom, right? Derek is in there, ready to go. Um, so we'll just switch up the name, right? And then we start to see that we easily have um, a Canva presentation set up for us. Now, I want to dive into a couple... Uh, interesting designs here and interesting options in terms of what you have available. So the one I lo we looked at over here is just a very straightforward, um, very corporate, very business looking, or you can switch it up and you see something that is a little bit more fun. And again, very easy to swap these out. Now, this is where this gets interesting because You'll notice there is a chart, there's a graph on the left-hand side here. Well, one of the great options inside of Canva is the ability to create graphs and charts that look just like your designs. So here, you'll notice this one's all set up for you, but if you're looking to add one, all you gotta do is go down into Elements on the left-hand side here. You're gonna scroll uh, right into here into Charts. And if you want to see all of your charts, those are all available. And then you can easily, once you've created your chart, start switching out your color scheme, your uh, info for it, all of that sort of stuff. Now, this is where this gets interesting and why I wanted to talk a little bit about the pre-appointment package before we got into the listing presentation itself. Because if you create anything like this in the listing presentation, you can easily take this graph, copy it. You can come over here to your proposal. So we'll say, let's do, oh, what do we want to use? Right, let's use a proposal. And here, all of a sudden, you want that graph to be over here and to be whatever size. So it's very, very easy to start switching up and saying, okay, well, all of the templates, color scheme, etc., that I have in here um, as a chart, I can easily take over and start using in some of my other designs. Now, all you have to do uh, with your other designs is make sure you switch out the color scheme. And then all of a sudden you have stuff that looks the same, sounds the same, works the same uh, across all different platforms. And your pre-appointment package looks, feels, works exactly like uh, your listing presentation so that when you come into the room, you get your listing presentation going, they're already comfortable. They already feel ready to go and go, okay, well, that's that's exactly on point to what we had already gone over, what we'd already been talking about, um, and so on. The other great part here is th these templates set up most of the other items that we've talked about uh, inside of what you want to include in the listing presentation. So a little bit about your background, options for some competitive advantages and charts, testimonial options built right in. So again, all of these items can easily be swapped over. Right into here. And if you want to create some extras, you say, right? and you're ready to go. Now you can create an entire sheet 
of testimonials that looks, feels, works exactly like your listing presentation. Okay. Except now you're all set up to use it for a number of other options. Now you can take these and straight up resize them if you want to. Now this is one of the options you have um, if you want to create a duplicate uh, and say we'll create a duplicate, resize, and you can simply type in proposal. Now it's going to create all of these essentially frames inside of the proposal for you, but it makes it a lot easier to start resizing this stuff. So then all of a sudden, again, you've gone from your listing presentation right into your pre-appointment package. Um, and it's going to look the same. It's going to work the same. It's going to be comfortable to everybody so that when it comes time to getting into your actual presentation, when you're in front of them, they are all ready, uh, ready to go. And, um, yeah, ready to dive on in. Now I'll show you a few other of these options. Things like sales timeline. So again, you might have a few slides that are talking about this, whereby when it comes to a proposal, you're going to create a page for it uh, and have it all set up um, with your entire timeline there. So it just makes it very, very easy to transition from your listing presentation and all of your different options here. Right over into your pre-appointment package. All right, are there any questions um, about anything we've covered so far in terms of uh, a pre-appointment package, how to create them or how to create listing presentations very, very easily? Um, inside of this. Now, the other thing to keep in mind while, uh, while we're waiting on questions here, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you do create these, um, you can set these up where you can easily copy that presentation and update anything. Update the chart about your sales, uh, you know, um, sales averages, update, uh, the, the client information behind it, update. Once you create the base presentation that you're going to work off of, um, it's very, very easy to adapt the presentation uh, and then use it over and over and over again. All right. Are there any questions? Definitely let us know uh, inside a chat here. If there are questions, we will see them scroll up and uh, and appear for us. Awesome. All right. Well, let me know, was this helpful? Did folks learn uh, some stuff today? Was uh, this helpful in terms of something that you going, you're going to use? Um, Joyce says, we search, do we search out, um, do we search out report or presentation for these templates? So I'll show you one more time here. Uh, we're going to go home. So for the presentations themselves, you're going to search and you're going to search for presentations. See that presentation right there? And then there are hundreds, thousands of options for it. And then once you've searched presentation, uh, you can actually go and search by category, and there is an option for uh, real estate right here. And there's a whole bunch that are already done, um, already ready to go inside of real estate that you can easily adapt, fit your own colors to um, match all of that sort of stuff. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Joyce says, awesome. And my friend Derek says, hello from Minneapolis. Hello from Burlington, Vermont. It is good to see you. Uh, it's good to see everybody here. If you did find this helpful at all, um, we would really appreciate dropping a like uh, on the video itself. Uh, like, love, whatever it might be. Uh, and Derek liked the stream. Thank you, my friend. Um, so thank you so much for that. I, I hope you, Derek, I hope you noticed the new notifications we got going on for the likes. Oh, so cool. Um, so thank you so much. If you did enjoy it today, drop a like. Uh, as well as uh, make sure you like the page uh, and as well as follow the page, uh, Agent Inner Circle page where we are hosting this. So you are sure to get all of the notifications when we go live with helpful topics like this. All right. So before we close it down, I do. Um, and if you ha anyone has any questions, please let me know. But before we close this down, I do want to just kind of mention that um, listening and pre presentations are hugely, hugely, uh, important. So, um, you and every other agent out there, uh, has an immense number of tools available to help you stand out. And it really is about standing out. The, the competition for listings is so strong at this point that it really is about standing out from your competition. So having that pre-appointment pre package, as well as the listing presentation itself, that goes in that same theme that looks and works together uh, makes a huge difference when you're standing out um, from your competition because they have something that's visually appealing. They have something that's well prepared. They have something that they have practiced um, before and spent a good bit of time doing. So it's really one of the most important things that you have available um, at your disposal. So I always say do what uh, Steve Martin says, which is be so good that they can't ignore you. And that's what I want to see out of your listing presentations is I want you to be so good. I want your listing presentations to be so good um, that people can't ignore who you are, what you're doing, and why you should be the one uh, helping them sell their home. Last but not least here, I got to shout it out. Um, the two groups that put this on, first of all, the Real Estate Technology Institute. Uh, Craig Grant is the founder over there. I'm also an instructor. So if you are interested in learning about technology in your business, definitely check out reti.us. Uh, I'll put that link in chat here as well. So that is the RETI site. Um, and the other group that has put this on is Service for Life. Uh, we even got some Service for Life members in chat here. Um, if you are interested in growing a 100% referral business where you're you're getting business sent to you, you're getting past clients coming back to you, and you're not worried um, about chasing deals all the time, definitely check out uh, Service for Life. Um, it is really, truly one of the best uh, systems out there that we've seen for agents. Um, it's worked for over 20 years. I've had the uh, honor and pleasure of running that for the last five years. And it is incredible what it does for agents. So I've posted that link uh, in there as well.